Kowloon Cricket Club is the location. It's the 2017 Hong Kong World Sixers. It's plate semi-final number two time. And the youngsters from Bangladesh, all of them under 19 years of age, take on the veterans from the MCC in what should be the ultimate test for the young fellas. It's old versus young here at the KCC. The MCC winless at the moment, Ryan. Wouldn't it be great to see that continue throughout this tournament? Well, I just wanted to work out who the old and the young was in the commentary box, and obviously I'm the old, you're the young. Chris Rogers joining me here in what should be a very good test for these young Bangladeshi players. Well, I've had a little bit of a soft spot for the, the Bangladeshis. They were the surprise package yesterday, and their dancing went a long way in my heart. I thought that was magnificent. Love to see them finish this tournament with a victory. Absolutely, because if they win this, they'll go into the plate final against the hometown heroes, Hong Kong who were outstanding in their plate semi-final. To start us off for the MCC with the bowling department is going to be Gareth Berg. Bergie now plays at Hampshire, used to play for Middlesex, had the privilege of captaining Gareth. Would be a, a match-winning bowler, but a very frustrating one as well. <laughs> <laughs> But a true gentleman. A lot of fun. Ball number one. And young Bangladesh are going to be on the road with a four. Nicely pushed away on the onside and the square leg boundary it went. Yeah, the, the two openers here for, for Bangladesh, they, they don't mind just nudging it around for a little while before they let loose. But you can get away with it. You can just target a few of these gaps. That's in the air. That could be trouble because that's going to be out. And the captain, Saf Hassan, is on his way. And Bangladesh are in early trouble. It's one for four. Oh, I can guarantee you one thing. Ricky Clark would never drop that catch. He's got one of the best set of hands I've ever seen in cricket. And that was probably as easy as they come. But an early wicket here for the MCC to get them on the board. Well, it'll be interesting to see if MCC decide to go the shorter route to these young Bangladeshi batsmen on a bouncy AstroTurf surface that they're probably not quite used to. No, uh, even Gareth Berg, he looks like he's just running a little bit harder today. Trying to bowl a bit quicker. Probably notice what Pakistan have been doing, to be honest. Mohammed Sami bowled Thunderbolts. <laughs> Hey, we're talking about the wikis being a bit too deep in this competition. Well, guess what? The wiki was on the 25-metre circle, or the mark, and he had to be because they were coming through at pace. So Berg is going to bowl a dot to Ancon, the new batsman. Still the wiki keeper taking on the half folly. Still frustrates me, mate. <laughs> Don't get me started, mate. That's why I said it. Come on, get up there, wiki. Simo's a good good gloveman. Well, there's a short one, and that's going to be called a no ball. Of course, these two were Middlesex teammates for a number of years, John Simpson and Gareth Burke. That's uh, well over shoulder height, which, of course, is a no ball in this competition. You'll have to bowl that one again. Again, that's short, but it just played away nicely through the vacant third-man area for four. I think you're right here. I think the short tactic is uh, definitely being used here against Bangladesh. Well, I just wonder if you're going to do that, perhaps the field needs to be a lot squarer because at the moment they're still pretty straight. That one's a slower ball and he's dispatched it over cover for six. A great start here from Ancon.
this time it's nice and full and you'll just get a single Seventeen off the first is a nice way to start for the MCC. See Jordan Clark bowling the second over. This is the difficult end to bowl from as we see the teams here lining up. Afif Hussain opening the batting is on 11 and Ancon yet to score so far over number two from this very <laughs> the shorter of the shortest ends that one is going to go over mid off for six thank you very much Hossein well, has started beautifully he's got all of that one Land back, it was in the slot, let those levers go, he hit the middle of the bat, it's a long way back. Slower ball, he didn't quite get it. Got away with one there, probably would have been a wide. The old dogs, the MCC, they haven't won a game in this competition, but you know what they're like, they would hate to lose against the young punks. I'm sure they've enjoyed their time in Hong Kong, Ryan. It's going to be down for a single. Well, there's no doubt everyone's had a good time over the weekend, Bucky, that's for sure. It's a solid... Not exactly an electrifying start, but it's still a pretty good start from Bangladesh. Slower ball again, taking the pace off. Bowling nicely so far, this over Clark. That one seemed to just not get up. Hussain looked like he wanted to lead back and put that one over mid on, but it just didn't bounce enough for him. This time, Ankong's trying to go on the onside. And he's only going to get a single again. Jordy Clark bowling a beauty here. It is interesting. We had a couple of really low overs yesterday, didn't we? But we haven't really seen that today. Yeah, you've got to bowl well to go for less than 10, that's for sure. We had a couple of overs that went for three. A two for five, I think. It's a tough caper, this bowling in the sixes. And there's an edge. That could be out. No, they're going to say it's off the shoulder. End of the over, 10 off it. It's 27 for one after two overs. Let's have a close look. That's a pretty good decision from the umpy. Just got a, a, a list of the two teams here, Brian. The average age of the Bangladesh is just over 18. Well, the average age of the MCC is 33 and a half. So, mate, I'm going to tell the MCC boys you brought that stat up, not me. I'm just saying that was your decision to announce that over the air. <laughs> Samit Patel. A veteran, a wily veteran, but he's been an absolute beauty in county cricket this year. Amazing statistics. Left arm off spin. Yes, Clarky, yes, Clarky. He's going to start with another single. Yes, Bangladesh, all of a sudden, have had a bit of a barren period without hitting the boundary. Yeah, they need to get going now. You still need to get above 90, and this is not a great start for them. That's a better shot. That's struck very firmly through the offside, and he's going to pick up four. Nicely played that all the way along the carpet. 
Saying he just likes to clear that front leg, doesn't he? Give himself a bit of width. This time, a little reverse Malachi is going to go all the way down to the boundary for four. Nicely played. <laughs> well, we've complained in the whole time that the keeper has been standing back. He stood up, and it's cost them runs. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that, Buck. Let's stick to our way, mate. Wiki up, wiki up. Stay there, stay there. Oh, no. No, that's it. <laughs> One mistake. There you go. Off you go. And there it is. That would have been a stumping. Our rest, our case, once and for all. <laughs> we'll let that one go. A tick to us, Buck. <laughs> a rare win for the commentary team. <laughs> this one is contact down to deep mid on. But I reckon he stood on the boundary there. Did he? No? All good. I'd like to see that. Gareth Berg out there at deep mid on. This time it's another dot. And that is a very good over from the skipper Patel. The MCC at the moment are on top. Let's have a look at this. Oh, that's four runs. And perhaps we might need to say, and in fact, and this, this is, is how Patel. you're supposed to do it, isn't oh, it? Stop it. How good is that? I tell you what, though. I tell you what. Gareth Berg has realised that and didn't realise the umpires didn't call the runs. So he's made sure he's gone up to the umpires and said, please change it. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're going to change the score. Well, what's going to be there interesting you go. here? Have a look at the umpires right now because they're just saying the fifth ball went for a boundary. What's going to be interesting here is because they actually crossed. So therefore the wrong batsman was on strike. Oh, it's all happening oh. here at the Sixers. I wonder if they're thinking of finishing that over again. Umpire Ian Thompson is just having a chat to his partner. What would you like to do? Hit the replay button. Well, what's the common sense rule here? Do you, do you bowl that last ball again or do you just give them the boundary and get on with it? Well, theoretically, you can't go back, can you? In the world of cricket, can you actually repeat something? I think you can do whatever you want, to be honest. But well, it is the Sixers, and we're in charge. <laughs> so let's let's say, how about a bit of common sense? Let's go back and bowl the sixth one again. Well, the time they're taking here, by the time they're finished with it, we would we would have bowled this last ball. <laughs> We're just I, I, not quite sure what's going on. I enjoyed Gareth Berg there, just hiding in the corner in the shade. Well, to be fair to him, when he looked at it, I actually thought he put his hand up saying that's four. And I'm not sure the umpire noticed. Oh. So what we're going to have to do, in my opinion, is bowl that sixth ball again. But I thought you just said we can't go back. Well, it's the sixes and we're in charge, but come on. Let's take control. Whatever we do, we don't need more umpires on the ground. And I'll tell you what's going to happen. There's going to be a couple more go out and have a chat. Shall we start yelling out the commentary box here? <laughs> there's, a, there's a few jokes that I'd want to go to, but I'm going to try not to. See, they would have bowled this last ball by now. We're a little bit... Here's what happened. So there's the shot. And the fielder has gone back to stop it. His foot's over the rope there, so it's four runs. He realises that, has seen it, has stopped, and there you go. That's wait. hardly a signal, wait, though, isn't wait. it? Wait, <laughs> let's wait, let's wait. There's his hand up. His hand is up. But what does that say? I reckon that's saying he's sorry, but doesn't realise he's called four. But then I like that he's looking away, so he doesn't see what's happened. I think... Pleading ignorance. He did a little bit. I'm not sure he's meant it. I think at the start he's realised he's made a mistake and was ho and was saying sorry. But I tell you what that means is Hussain would go to 32 and, and he should be retired. retired. <laughs> <laughs> so it wouldn't have been him facing anyway. 
the ball. Bit of <laughs> it's shambolic is oh. the word that comes to mind. No, it's not. It's just as clear as mud. It's no problem. <laughs> and he is. He's retiring here. So they're not going to replay that final ball. Is that what we're going on with? Well, here we go. We move on. I'm going to say we're going to continue from this end. What's happening and with what? the, the Hublot stop clock? Anyway, here's the next over. This one's going <laughs> straight up in the air. And the new batsman, if you can believe it, is out first rock. Should he have been on strike? I don't know, Chris. I'm confused at the best of times, let alone when this is going on. I'm throwing it to you and leaving it all in your corner. Well, Darren Stevens has come on. And in the midst of this confusion, confusion has just bowled all outside off stump. Another one up the chimney. He's taken a pretty easy catch there. So he was out first ball? Or second. <laughs> or third. I don't know. We're going to go with what we have. Ancon's on strike. He's going to face Simpson. The wiki is going to miss it and they'll scamper through for a bye. And dare I say it, the ball didn't quite carry to the wiki, <laughs> who's standing a fraction too far back. I think we, we we went out the tents, didn't we? I think we stood in the sun for just a little bit too long. We've had some humour, that's for sure. But at the moment, Bangladesh need to get a move on. Because right now they're in trouble. There's again a big swing and no contact. The veterans are taking the pace off and actually bowling very, very nicely. So Stevens, this one might be a wide. I'll take a couple, but again, that was good shape and a good change-up delivery. Well, it's, it's what he does. He doesn't bowl much quicker than this in first-class cricket, but he swings them both ways. He takes a ridiculous amount of wickets. He's going to change his angle now. He's going to come around the wicket. And that one didn't work. Because he's going to get six runs. Change of angle didn't quite get what he wanted. 346s for the Virgic Atlantic six counter. Well, as they say in baseball, that was in the wheelhouse, wasn't it? Around the wicket, just swinging nicely into his arc. Back over this time. And a heave across the line. He'll get a single. And Ankong moves to 10 from 7. Well, I'm not sure we've had as low a score as this after well, 3.5 overs, have we, as yet? So Bangladesh needs something special here. That one's high in the air. It's, it could be out. In fact, it's not. It's dropped. He Wait. made some ground, Berg, but couldn't get it. He's in the thick of the action here, Gareth Berg. That's a high ball. We've seen a few get, get put down today. And there's another one to that list. He, he did pretty much everything right there. The ball just, just a little bit far away from him in the end. And he ended up trying to catch it too low. Could only palm it forward. But Ricky Clark here to finish the year innings for MCC? Well, MCC have bowled beautifully and they've got one over left and Ricky Clark who's done a fine job for so long in county cricket, has the job. And first ball, he's heaved away to deep square just for a single. Yeah, we need a, a few Hublot and maximums here. A couple of 12s will do Bangladesh a world of good. A low full toss is only going to get a single. And boundaries have become a scarcity. 
Interested in the colour of the pads there, Mahadou. Would we call that lime green? <laughs> <laughs> Clark again bowls a beautiful delivery and he's only going to go for another single. Three singles from the first three rocks is a great way to finish. Just looks like Bangladesh, the, the under-19 boys from Bangladesh have, have run out of gas, haven't they? They had such a good day yesterday. Oh, superb. A fully has got the treatment through the third man area and has gone for four. They've called it a no ball. So we have to bowl that one again. Some added bonus runs for Bangladesh. This one is straight down the ground. They might look for two. The running between yep. wickets hasn't been great. He didn't put in the big yards early and would have been struggling if the wiki was up the stumps. What was he do there? He was napping John Simpson. Well, he's standing too far back. He can't get to the stumps. Chris. Another good full delivery from Ricky Clark, and he's doing a great job for the MCC. With just one ball remaining, he's going for only nine in this over. That's going to be a wide. Just missed his line there. That oh. one has been collected. And a nice way to finish for Bangladesh with a big six. Way over the leg side. And Bangladesh finish with a little flurry. 73 will be the total. And the MCC will need 74 to win if they are to meet Hong Kong in the plate final. Yeah, it almost looked like Bangladesh have run out of gas, I said. They just couldn't get those lusty blows. It, oh, they were swinging hard, but they just couldn't get a hold of them. And in the end, a, a total of 73 is going to be pretty hard to defend. The MCC, who haven't won a game yet, got a great chance to open their account, get into the plate final. So they, they can be pretty relieved with that performance because you, you don't want to leave this tournament without a win, do you? No, absolutely not. And... I'll be feeling okay, the MCC, because they may not have won a game, but they have been good with the bat. And their scores have been okay. So that's all the people watching. And guess what? Next game, it's going to be third versus fourth. It's the Aussies and the Kiwis. And Cat has both captains. Yes, yeah, time for the toss for the third place playoff game. It's got a bit of a trans-Tasman rivalry feel to it. We've got New Zealand taking on Australia. John Hastings and Peter Fulton stand alongside me. And the chairman of Cricket Hong Kong, Dr John Gribben. You do have the toss. It's your call. Tails. Tails. And it's heads. So, John, what would you like to do? Uh, we're going to have a bowl. You've stuck with the bowl every time. Reason? I don't know, I just, I just like it, you know, at least you know where you're going to chase and um, obviously it hasn't gone to plan for us, but yeah, hopefully we can finish off with a win. Have you been keeping a close eye on the Kiwis? What are you expecting from them? Yeah, they've been doing well. Yeah. They whack it all around the park and so we're going to have to be on our game if we're going to beat them. Have you got one eye on one play in particular? No, nah, not really. What about two metre Peter? <laughs> no, he's, he's, he's good. Ball's a heavy ball. <laughs> good luck. Cheers. So you're going to have to bat first. Yeah, yeah, no, bat first, so um, no, that'll be right. Like I said, we've got to try and uh, finish with a bang and see if we can see if we can get a win. Um, yeah, so it's been a good tournament. Everyone's enjoyed it, and so hopefully we can uh, finish with a flourish. Explain for those who might not understand this trans-Tasman rivalry, how much do you want to beat the Aussies? Oh, you know, it'd be nice to beat them. Yeah, there's been a, you know, been a bit of niggle the whole way through the tournament with them, so we, we obviously, you know, we don't like them very much, so uh, hopefully we can get a win this last game. Had a bit of banter with John? Yeah, yeah, you know, they're all a bunch, good bunch of guys, so, um, but like I said, everyone's competitive and wants to win, so. Good luck. Cheers, thank you. There we have it, Australia won the toss and elected to bowl. Thanks, Kat. Australia versus New Zealand coming up next for the number three position in this tournament. And here's what happened in this match in the plate semi-final.
It didn't start too well for Bangladesh and didn't get much better. No, Gareth Berg with a, an early wicket. A couple of uh, boundaries to, were found after that. Hussein got hold of a few balls, didn't he? He got a hold of that one. A couple all over cover. But apart from him, it was, it was hard work. The MCC, they bowled well, and, and it was al almost as if Bangladesh just, just couldn't get hold of those big hits. We saw that incident where Gareth Berg stood over the line. There was a lot of confusion around that. They went for a long time, but in the end, as we said, Bangladesh just, just couldn't get enough big hits. And a total of 73 is going to be very hard to defend. But it almost looked like they were trying to hit the ball too hard today instead of just timing and hitting the ball nicely and sweetly and, and to be fair the MCC boys bowled very nicely they changed their pace and did a really good job that's the card there Hussain the outstanding one 31 from 13 but not too much else there for Bangladesh no, on the other hand the MCC bowling very good Gareth Berg's opening over was a little bit expensive, but you can see there Jordan Clark. He, he bowled that shorter length and showed the MCC how to bowl it at the Bangladesh players. And in the end, a score of 73. So out comes MCC. Well, it's going to be Ricky Clark. And I can tell you... Sam, oh, no, Darren Stevens. He has hit the ball very nicely this whole tournament. And as all good commentators do, he'll probably be out first ball. Well, enjoyed, that, enjoyed a little bit of that banter between the Peter Fulton and John Hastings. <laughs> the Kiwis and the Aussies, a bit of niggle. That's a surprise. Peter saying Australians a nice bunch of blokes. I don't think that was what he was originally was going to say. <laughs> So here we go with the MCC innings. Hassan starts a good one. And it's a, it's a dot ball to start with. They'll need plenty of those if they're going to win this game. Yeah, as Ricky Clark kind of indicated there, that was almost an outswing, even with an off spinning action. There's a bit of a delay in his action, but this time he'll go for a boundary. And the MCC are underway. A delay, he just holds back a little bit. Oh, lever close, have you ever looked there? It's just a little delay in the action, just to have a little look to see what's going on. Almost hoping the batsman makes a move so he, he can second guess. That is a long one. It's going to go for six, that's for sure. And Ricky Clark is starting the way he's batted this whole innings. Very, very aggressively. A quick reload, and that one is probably going the same way. Somewhere near the swimming pool. This is the first six from Ricky Clark, right in the slot. He has hit the ball beautifully this tournament. That's a bit better bowling and a good piece of fielding from the wiki. <laughs> We've got more confusion. Thought that was just a standard outside edge. Well, from my angle, I can't see if it actually carried. Oh, that's an outside edge. That's an edge. outside edge and that's out. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. Be good at poker, Ricky Clark, wouldn't he? Fantastic. He had all the aces there, and like I said, because he plonks the next one long for six. Oh, that hurts as a, a bowler. Hassan got his man, didn't get the decision, and next four, the same batsman, hit him straight back over his head for a monster. Well, that's a good hit. Well, to be fair, the deviation only needed him to dive, so it wasn't that big. <laughs> Got all, away with one. It's almost those those ones 
A lot of people think it's it's a bump ball, but it very rarely is. Absolutely. The batsman, I can understand because you hit the ground at the same time and you think, well, I haven't hit her. But the replay showed another version. The young lefty is going to go for a boundary first ball. Coming around the wicket, he goes for four. His lamb tried this tactic in the in the previous game and he got it wrong. Bowled actually a few wides down leg side because the the first one he gave some width and then what he did was actually come over the wicket, which he has now. So it's just taking him a ball to get back to that tactic. Kazi Islam has been hit down the ground and this is a very high ball. And there's a bit of confusion there too. I'm not sure what's happened there, but I reckon that it's a chance that's gone down. I need to see a replay of that because it's hard to quite know what happened. But, oh, the fielders, they just got in there and away of each other. And, and then went for four just to rub salt into the wound. Right in front of our commentary box, we couldn't see it. The next one is going to go out to deep point for a single. But the two youngsters, a lack of communication has cost them. As you can see, that's not the way to field. They were both probably calling mine. That old chestnut. At least they didn't say yours. I've seen that a few times. This is good bowling. It's nice and full. And it'll only be a single down the ground to mid-off. It's an excellent piece of fielding down there. Clean pick up. Got to his feet to be able to throw quickly back to the bowler's end. That's how you do it. Well, the outfield's like carpet here at KCC, so there's no reason for a misfield for that. That's a fully that's been sent onto Cox's Road for big six. Oh, he's well known for his, his power hitting, Darren Stevens, so it's probably the last place you want to bowl it. Probably lucky to get away with a no ball there as well, because it was quite high, the full toss. One to go in over number two for MCC. And guess what? It's gonna go the same spot, and that's probably even further. Six more, the MCC, 44 for none after two overs. Well, that's not necessarily how you wanna finish your tournament, is it? With a couple of big bangs against your name, but Darren Stevens got a hold of both of them. They were both massive hits. Where is that? Are those apartments up there, right? Uh, that's actually the grill room, three storeys up here at KCC. Not a bad place for a steak on a quiet Friday night, Buck. So it's over number three coming your way, and the MCC are travelling nicely. 74 to win, they just need 30 from the final three overs to take their place against Hong Kong in the plate final. Osan, who bowled, who batted beautifully, sorry, is going to have a bowl. And Bangladesh needs something special. And an edge, and this time he's given out. Well, it, that was confusing because he actually walked that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not sure you should be a bloke saying you should walk, Chris Rogers. Uh, well, I thought he was in the, the Stuart Broad mode of walking, to be honest. <laughs> well, that one is a big wicket. They need a big over, Bangladesh, and they've started well with a wicket off the first one. Here comes the skipper for the MCC. Well, uh, Afif was the bowler yesterday who bamboozled Australia in the last over when Australia needed 15 to win and he only conceded seven and 
ran in, looked like he was bowling off spin, and they were more top spinners that kept going straight, and the Australians couldn't get hold of it. So let's what he's got, see what he's got with Patel, and not much, because that's a fully that's going to be dispatched for six. Well, you can't tell if it's going to spin or not when he bowls it on the full, that's for sure. But 348 tournament sixes. <laughs> we're approaching 350. 220 was the amount last time we were here in 2012. And guess what? That one is going to add to it, and we're one shy of 350. Sam seemed to enjoy that one, didn't he? That went so high. Can we make it three in a row? No, we can't, but that's going to be a boundary because it's a beautiful off drive along the carpet. That previous one, has that ended up in the pool? Because there's the pool there behind the KCC. Yeah, I reckon that's wet, that's for sure. This one's a top edge and going to run away for four. The wiki was up that time. <laughs> it's gone past him. Let's have a look where this six landed. It's a beautiful picture. The, the orange ball in the perfect blue sky. And that's actually over the fence of here at KCC on the Jordan Path. Oh. And guess what? That one is in the swimming pool because that is perfectly placed. Oh, they're having a good time on that up there. And that's the KCC members. He's fetching it there, right? That, I'm pretty sure he's a committee member. <laughs> Gary Havcroft, I think that is. Yeah, that's a good shot. So I think there's Simon Millington and Ashley Caddy up there as well. Simon Millington actually running for that one. There was one yesterday he, he tried to jump away from. Copped a little bit of grief for that, didn't he? Not the greatest fielder, Simon Millington, the owner of Woodworm. Proudly sponsors Jamie Atkinson. Not many to win. And that's a wide, and they're getting closer. Told me last night he was going to caddy for Ian Woosnam in the, the Masters. Is that true? That'll be a sight to see. <laughs> I hope they got overalls big enough. <laughs> I hope he's listening. So here we go. The MCC are going to get a single there. And the scores are tied. Well, that looked out to me, Ryan. Inside edge, wasn't it? No, he's given that a leg ball. I think we need to see that one again. That looks dead to me. That, that's missing leg stump. Oh! <laughs> and hitting middle. <laughs> Here we go, scores are tied, and there you have it. The MCC are gonna win. And away they go. They hadn't won a game, but suddenly the MCC are into the plate final and will play against Hong Kong. The old boys were way too good for the youngsters from Bangladesh. Well, they got the job done in the end, the MCC. It's a disappointing there for the Bangladesh boys. The under-19s from Bangladesh, who, were, as we said, were absolutely fantastic yesterday. Very entertaining as well with their dancing. How do you cover, bro? That's <laughs> because some of us can't dance, Chris, not like you. Let's have a look at the scorecard. Because Ricky Clark, 23 from 8, Stevens. 21 from 6 and Patel 27 from 6. They did the job and they batted very, very nicely. It all happened a little bit too quickly there. Bangla just didn't get enough runs on the board and it's always going to be hard to defend and needed a couple of very good overs straight away but Hassan 22 and it, the rest didn't get much better. Yeah, there's the match summary. Bangladesh were restricted to 73 for two off their five overs and that that we've seen in this series is nowhere near big enough to defend the MCC win it by five wickets and will go on to the final of the plate competition against the homeboys Hong Kong
But coming up next, it's the playoff for third and fourth. It's the Trans-Tasman rivalry, Australia versus the New Zealand Kiwis. There'll be a little bit of niggle and a little bit of something going on in that one, I'm sure. And while we talk about the next game, how about we finish off this one by going down to the wonderful cat down on the boundary. Darren Stevens proving age is just a number. You really taught those boys a lesson. Oh, I'm not sure about that. We, we, we were due one. I think we were close in a lot of the games and, you know, I suppose they didn't, they didn't quite get enough runs and it uh, gave us a chance to get over the line. Now, you're a bit of a veteran of Sixers cricket. <laughs> were you very pleased to hear that it was making a comeback? Yeah, I was very surprised with a call from my guy in saying that they're going to take an MCC trip out and if I'd like to go on it. Well, I did have to think for about five seconds and I yeah, obviously agreed to come out. Any big differences from now until back in 2012 when was the last one? Uh, I'd just say the pitch really. It's a bit bouncier than what I remember. But um, other than that, uh, I think the tournament's been brilliant. It's run really smoothly. Um, and, you know, from the rest of the lads getting all the information, it's been, it's been brilliant. This went to the tournament and you're through to the plate final. Yeah. How are you rating your chances? Oh, actually, Hong Kong are a very good start with a strong side, but, you know, try and get some runs or try and get some wickets and we'll see what happens. Well, good luck. Thank you very much. Back to you guys. Cheers, son. Thanks, Kat. Yeah, the locals up against the MCC will be a beauty. But first, we've got the Aussie fans and the Kiwi fans in the stands very excited because it's going to be... Australia versus the New Zealand Kiwis coming up next here at the Kowloon Cricket Club. 